Are you serious? Are you serious? Everybody get some coffee and calm down. But here comes Mike from around the world's straight line winds that he promised would come because of the five waves of energy which are being affected, folks, by Planet X or Nibiru or Planet Number 9 or the Dwarf Star or the Goblin or whatever you want to call it. What? That binary system. Thousands of people without power today. For We've had two major straight line wind storms hit America in the last three days. Let me put a shout out first for healthwithpaul.com. That's healthwithpaul.com. Guys, seriously, it is important. It is very important to keep your body healthy and, you, and youthful. Really, seriously, youthful. And um, all the time. Matter of fact, these days, collagen, literally collagen, is probably the best thing you could ever use. It's the closest thing we've ever come to the fountain of youth. And while also forming a wall of defense between your immune system and the rest of your body, 75 to 90% of your skin, your bones, your joints, your tendons are made of this age-defying nutrient called collagen. And over at BioTrust, if you go to www.healthwithpaul.com, that's www.healthwithpaul.com, you can get your hands on this wonderful product here, and that is this ageless multi-collagen uh, product that you just sprinkle a little bit in your coffee or put some of it in uh, some milk or whatever you want to do. It's, it's tasteless, and you'll become ageless. What? and it's filled with five different types of collagen, none of it from humans. We would never do that. No, it's from, it's from plant life, from fish, from eggs, all powerful collagen. You need to get this right now. Just go to www.healthwithpaul.com. That's www.healthwithpaul.com. Matter of fact, the older you are, in fact, the more likely it's caught your attention, and for good reason. Uh, many health experts now agree that consuming collagen is as crucial as it gets to renew and revitalize how you look and feel. Matter of fact, some of you may have realized that you've had some issues with uh, sagging skin, okay? Or your hair's getting thinner. What? Uh, and certainly grayer in my case. And uh, maybe your nails have lost some of their strength. Your joints are getting tender, okay? Recovering from injuries taking longer. Uh, recovering from exercise even taking longer uh, and your digestive uh, you, you know you're just slowing down okay and you're feeling the effects of this whole thing just once again check it out go to www.healthwithpaul.com that's www.healthwithpaul.com here's what's going on though guys as it relates to these strange weather patterns tens of thousands of people are without power this morning after an exceedingly rare straight line wind known as a Draco made weather history in Wyoming. Now, you know how much wind blows up in Wyoming, guys? A lot. Well, it made weather history in Wyoming and in Colorado. That's the only the third time in recorded history in the United States that straight line storm ever come through in those areas. Three days after a severe Draco killed three people and cut power in half, it cut the power out to a half a million people across Pennsylvania and New Jersey, another powerful Draco storm packing winds in excess of 75 to 80 miles an hour straight line winds. Hurricane force winds straight line through Wyoming and Colorado. Uh, on Saturday, damaging homes, tearing off roofs, knocking over trees, ripping down power lines, knocking out power to over a half a million people. This extreme weather condition turned uh, was really bad. Now, it didn't turn deadly, but the tree that fell during Colorado's Drecos impaled a man and his daughter. A horrible, horrible situation there. The storm's produced several hurricane force gusts, uh, including one gust, guys, get this, 100 
and 10 miles an hour in Winter Park, Colorado. There were gusts of winds of 110. Now, Mike around the world told us that we're going to see winds of 150 to 200 miles an hour. Straight nine winds. As Nibiru, as Planet X, as the five waves of energy get closer and closer, this is going to happen. Matter of fact, even where the Great Divide is, and I've been there one time, uh, it was 81 mile an hour winds in Rock Springs, Wyoming. And then again, another 78 mile an hour, it was blowing at Denver International Airport. Unbelievable. Rain, hail, straight line winds, lightning strikes. It was insane. And guys, all of this happened three days after we had unbelievable straight line winds ripping through New Jersey and Pennsylvania, leaving three people dead, okay? I mean, straight line winds in the Rocky Mountains is almost unheard of. This was record winds. It doesn't even make sense. Where is it coming from? Well, atmos atmospheric, at atmospheric compression from the waves of energy that is actually bringing all that red dust, those charged particles, that heavy uh, dust is settling at the top up there and it's pushing down on our atmosphere, making the jet streams go lower, closer to the surface of the earth, creating straight line winds of biblical proportion. And when I say that, let me give you an example. You want to know how strong the wind blew that parted the Red Sea? The Bible said a strong east wind came and parted the Red Sea and held the waters back so the children of Israel could walk across on dry land. That was an insane straight line wind. Well, it's returning, guys. And remember, all these plagues of Egypt that happened, happened during a time that Nibiru or Planet X or Planet Number 9 or the Dwarf Star or the Goblin or whatever name you want to go give it. It's when the last time it came through was when the, the plagues of Egypt happened. So here we are again. It's returning, but how close this time? And anticipation is it's going to be way worse, more apocalyptic, more catastrophic, and could actually bring about the coming of Jesus Christ. The Bible says men's hearts will fail them for fear, for looking after those things that are coming up on the earth, for the power of heaven shall be shaken. Then shall we see the Son of Man coming in the cloud. He said, when these things begin to come to pass, he tells us, look up, lift up your head. Your redemption's drawing nigh. We're going to see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with power and great glory. But before he gets here, there's going to be more plagues, more flies, more locusts, more frogs, more lice, more pestilence, more plagues, more coronavirus, more Ebola virus, more AIDS, more other viruses, bird flu, swine flu, man flu, mark viruses, everything that you can imagine. And there's going to be famines, uh, dust bowls, straight line winds of biblical proportion hailstones enlarging there's look what this year we've had hail four pounds in a uh, size of a melon in mexico 5.6 pounds the size of a bowling ball in texas 20 the, the locust is eating up north africa and the middle east the water is turning blood red in different parts of the world earthquakes volcanoes straight line winds we've already had three tropical storms it's coronavirus pandemic i mean are you serious now rioting in the streets Lawlessness is being brought forward. It's, it's getting insanely crazy. 63 customers without power. Uh, in uh, <clears throat> New Jersey uh, on, on uh, Friday. So it's, just, it's, it's getting worse. And I'm seeing all kinds of pictures of trees, broken glass, windows, storms, all of it. Not from a tornado, not from a hurricane. 80 mile an hour winds, 110 mile an hour winds from extreme straight line winds disrupting the power of uh, 500,000 people without power across Pennsylvania and New Jersey alone. Another half a million people. Uh, so <clears throat> it's just crazy. We're going to keep an eye on all of this stuff. It's getting nuts. You need to give your life to Jesus Christ. We're running out of time, and it's going to get more severe while the politicians are, 
are, are running around playing their little games and their little politics, the whole world is starting to show signs of the soon coming of Jesus Christ. And we've got a blood moon over, over, over the United States, a blood moon over the United States coming up on July the 4th at the midnight hour. This is a sign. This is an absolute apocalyptic sign that America must fall on its knees and repent and really, truly turn back to God. We're coming to the end of time. Are you saved?